Hey you. You can say hi. So some of you may know that uh, about two weeks ago, my dear old Timon uh, unfortunately passed away. Both her and Pumba um, are around two and a half years old and gerbils on average do tend to live from around two and a half to four and a half, although some may live longer. So I think it was probably just a case of she just reached the end of her life, unfortunately. She wasn't suffering or anything. She was very, she was very bright and happy and alert the night before. Um, it was the Thursday morning and we'd found that she was, she was quite weak and within five, ten minutes she passed away. Gave her a check over afterwards to see if we could find out what was wrong and there was, there was kind of nothing untoward, no, no cuts, no bruises, no, no growths, no, no anything. There was nothing that we could see that was visibly wrong with her. Uh, and since then we have taken Puma to the vet just to get checked over because she's had some teeth issues and things like that. Um, and spoken to the vet about it and the vet thinks that it was probably um, just a gerbil coming to the end of their life and we just happened to catch her right at the very end. So it's, it's, it's quite unfortunate and kind of unexpected. I was kind of hoping we might get to get to the, the, the longer end of that lifespan rather than the shorter. We just got a bit unlucky. <laughs> Hi. Are you okay? As you can see, Pumba is still doing fine. Are you? Hmm? You all good? Yeah, she's been to see the vet and the vet's checked her over and he's happy with how she's doing at the moment. Hmm? Need some food? Okay. Hi. She's still being quite happy and bright and active and alert albeit she's having some problems with her teeth, so she's on a bit of a soft food diet. Um, she's not showing any signs of depression. She's still been, she's, as far as I can tell, she's been coping pretty well. There's been no kind of obvious changes in, in her behavior or her eating habits or anything like that. She's still kind of just the same as she was before. So I'm not too worried about her being by herself for the moment. Um, so that's part of the reason why I think I'm at the moment not planning to try and rebond her because she's doing quite well and because she's two and a half um, and obviously she has been slowing down and showing some signs of aging as well the last few months the same as the same as Timon did so I kind of don't I would rather just kind of try and keep her comfortable and happy and give her lots of enrichment and attention rather than put her through the stress of a split tank method while she's happy and healthy and active. But if that situation ever changes and she starts showing signs of depression, like she stops eating or drinking and she starts becoming lethargic, then obviously I will get on and rebond her as soon as possible. So because Pumba has been showing similar signs of aging as Timon had kind of around the same time, like they've been kind of sleeping a little bit more and slowing down a little bit, um, and obviously they're sisters, so they're from the same litter. It just worries me that she may not have very long left. So I wouldn't want her to spend her last amount of time in a split tank. I would rather she kind of had just a full kind of enriching borrow and attention from us as long as she's happy with it. And obviously whether or not she's happy with it is, is the number one priority. If that changes at any point, rebonding will be become a, an immediate priority. The way Pumba is coping with being alone is not necessarily the way every gerbil will cope with being alone. Some gerbils may, if they lose their partner, immediately kind of become very depressed and they may struggle a lot more than others. So if you're in a situation with your gerbils where you've, you've lost one of them, then whether or not rebonding is the right thing will very much depend on on, on your gerbil and how they cope with being by themselves and on any health problems that they have. So since she's on her own, we're trying to put more focus on making sure she's got plenty of enrichment. Um, she's also been switched over to kitchen roll instead of paper bedding because paper bedding irritates her nose so that it's a bit warmer as it's still kind of in the cooler months. 
She's also got a heating pad overnight to make sure that she doesn't get too cold. And she's in the living room where we spend a lot of time. Uh, so she has the option to come out and hang, hang out with us on the couch whenever she wants. And she also has free access to the playpen all day, every day. So we're just really trying to focus on making sure she's got plenty of things to keep her happy and stimulated. So now that she's on her own, uh, things like uh, DIY toys and ways to keep her warm have become even more important just to make sure that she is okay and comfortable. So if you end up with a gerbil that's along, uh, those videos may help you out. They can be useful even if you've got a pair of gerbils, but uh, if you end up with one that is by themselves for whatever reason, then they can become even more important. So you will still be seeing videos on this channel with Pumba to help spread good care information and we'll also be using some past footage of Timon to kind of help out. So that's it for now um, and I'll see you in the next video. It's like she sensed I was getting upset and she was like, no, it's okay. Mm. Yeah, you're still good, aren't you?